has been said that a library should be like a pair of open arms. Tonight, America's Now correspondent Michelle Begay takes us on a journey in Colombia to meet a man who has taken that idea quite literally to thousands of children in every corner of the country. In the department of Magdalena, Colombia, where the accordion plays the traditional sound of Colombian music called Vallenato, in a rural area hours away from the Atlantic coast, where the most important river of Colombia flows and where most men and women live off of the land, there is a man armored with dreams, knowledge, books, and two donkeys. Each Saturday, for more than a decade, this man has been leaving his family and home in La Gloria to take books to neighboring villages so that children who have little access to schools, much less a library, can access the magical world of books. The adventure began in 1997 when Luis Soriano, a school teacher, took his two donkeys named Alfa and Beto, meaning alphabet in English, packed them with the only books he had and rode hours to different villages to share books and read to children. That is how Biblio Burro, roughly translated as the library donkey, got its start. In these towns, as you can see, we're missing many things. We scarcely have electricity. We need parks and health care. There's a need, but a remedy also arises with it. We have to solve it in our own way. The people must find a solution. That's exactly how Biblio Burro is born. Love. My great love. You know who he is, the Biblio Burro. <laughs> As the saying goes, behind every great man, there is a great woman. Diana Soriano occupies that role, as she has been with Luis Soriano for 16 years. Today, she is his biggest champion and supporter. But in the beginning, it wasn't always like this. I told him, are they going to pay you? And he says, what are they going to pay me? I am doing this because I like to. And I told him, you are absolutely crazy. And what are we going to eat? He answers, I don't know, we'll find something. And he leaves laughing. <laughs> Luis Soriano has often been compared to the famous Spanish literary character Don Quixote of La Mancha, an adventurer who set out to revive honor and chivalry through the land. The similarities run deep, and like Don Quixote, some think Luis Soriano has lost his mind. His wife describes him as a romantic with a big imagination. He is very special with the children. He laughs, he dances, and makes up stories, and they love it. He will put music on and make them dance. He goes to a nearby town and buys them little gifts. Just like Don Quixote, when Luis Soriano decides to embark on his travels as the Biblio Burro, this adventurous knight is faced with a harsh reality. Colombia's armed conflict has taken thousands of lives in this region. The surrounding areas of La Gloria have seen bloody clashes between guerrillas and paramilitary groups. Luis Soriano, like many civilians, was caught in the middle. On one of his long trips, he encountered a paramilitary group. In those days, there were a lot of killings, and at that time, he decided to travel. So here I was. I couldn't eat or sleep, thinking, will he ever come back? <laughs> Alpha, Beto, and I were the victims because my donkeys were the most impacted. The men beat the donkeys, took my books away, and questioned me maliciously. The men held him tied up for more than five hours. So they told me I was encouraging people and giving them information that they shouldn't have, that the people shouldn't know all their rights. It is this access to knowledge that Luis Soriano was fighting for. The paramilitaries and the large landowners don't want the people to be educated, because if the people are ignorant, they will always have slaves. A village that can read, deduce, and children that know they can't be exploited, that's what bothers the paramilitaries. 